Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Taco Bites, your daily bite of DGen, episode number 187. Uh, I hope you are having a great, great time today. Um, and just we are going to be getting ready to go through some of the markets and pieces with that. Um, we have found our new Turkish delight, which is uh, chocolate peanut butter pie Oreos. So this one goes out to you, Nabisco, for making that one. Thank you. Um, tonight's topics, this is the Gway, you know, and road trip. As we get ready for East Denver tonight, um, we'll be leaving and heading uh, across the country. Um, and so uh, it's going to be a pretty... Fun time. Um, and we'll be getting into Denver Thursday. Um, and right on the, uh, to jumping straight into everything Friday, Saturday, um, as we have a larger amount of things going on. Um, it's going to be really fun to see um, how that plays out. We have ETH Denver, Supermoon. Decentral, Interlope. Oh, what's the other one? Eat Denver, Supermoon, Decentral, Interlope, WalletCon. Um, and then we have a couple events with some new Layer 1s coming out. Um, and it's going to be pretty interesting to see how all of that expands out. Really happy to see that growth from there. Um, one of the things that we're really excited for is, um, making some really good connections for Banksa with any projects that are needing, uh, credit card for, uh, on-ramping solutions, um, fiat to on-ramp, um, and crypto to off-ramp. Um, really fun to see these different solutions come together, um, and really able to see these different tokens, being able to, uh, you know, really provide a purpose. So it's really fun to see this happen. Um, really good to see that that going on. Um, and so uh, really happy for, for what's going on. The market's been pretty interesting today. Um, we, we do apologize. Our main um, uh, notepad... Uh, we let our main notepad die to, uh, today while we were traveling. So um, we were having to go off of uh, some rough notes. But big shouts out in to Neo for climbing 30% in the last 24 hours. Uh, Clayton uh, growing 17.5% in the last 24 hours. Even Crow is making some big moves at 8% in the last 24 hours. Um one inch is up to uh, is up six percent, um, and then we also see Rose uh, token from Oasis is up three percent, up to seven cents. Avalanche is up three percent to twenty fifty one. Maker is up three point two four percent to seven sixty six right now. Uh, ApeCoin is up two and a half percent to five point eight two six. Osmosis is up. Uh, almost two and a half percent to one point oh seven seven two. Um, some of the weird ones that people really always liked is Render. Render is up to a dollar seventy four. Uh, it's up two percent today. Render's done some really cool things. Mana is up to seventy three cents. Um, did you scrape scrape some of that up when it had dropped all the way back down to uh, what was it? I think it was like nineteen. Uh. 19 cents um, it had dropped down to. Uh, pretty interesting to see those movements on that price go. Um, it had gotten all the way down to 29 cents. Um, and I know a lot of people scooped that piece, those pieces up. So um, good for them. Good for them. Uh, what else do we have? We have uh, some good movement on Trust Wallet token. Uh, it is up to $1.46 um, when they launched uh, right around a dollarish, 
Um, Soul is up to 2581. Um, I am seeing some, saw some resistance there on that movement. Um, people are uh, sort of interested in what it's going to do, um, but a little bit, have feeling a little longish on it. Just, just my advice, my, my, my take on that. Um, other big pieces moving around right now as well. We're, we're seeing a move on cake. Cake is moving. It's up to 423, um, which is good. I remember the days when cake was in $20 range and, and higher. Um, optimism, you know, was talked about, has been talked about a, a few times. Um, in the last 30 days, in in the last 90 days, uh, up 164%. Um, just since December 31st, it, it is up 164%. So, um Really cool to see that um, layout there. I'm really happy for what Optimism is doing. Um, and so fun to see movement there. One of the other big pieces getting ready for is ICP, Internet uh, Computer Protocol. Um, but uh, Arbitrum. Arbitrum doesn't have a token out yet. Um, what are you doing on, on there to have some fun? So And then Blur is down to $1.22. Um, it has had some ups. It has had some downs. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was sort of good to see how that, that movement came out. Um, launched um, at a high of $5.19. Dropped all the way down to $0.43. Cents. Now it's uh, at a dollar twenty two right now. So um, really good shout-out to all of the people that were in LP pools for that. Um pretty fun way to see see that go um for those that have a hard time with lp pools lp pools uh liquidity pro you're providing liquidity for people to provide trades um two things happen there if you're on an, an exotic pair an exotic meaning non-stable um so both coins fluctuate in price um and so you could have token x compared to token y and that would be considered an exotic pair but if you had token x Paired to a stable like USDC, USDT, um, that's that's a non-exotic pair, and you can usually find some good growth on that. That's good solid growth. Um, where if you're feeling a little riskier, exotic pairings, um, you know, like ETH in a token, uh, that will provide um, more growth opportunities, um, especially if both tokens rise in price. Um, it will raise the total market cap uh, volume. Um, and so it's really good to see um, some pieces there. One thing that people always talk about is impermeable loss. Really what that means is owning both assets. And so, um, you know, you'll go in with the same ratio. You'll leave with the same ratio um, that you went in with unless you're in a, a fluctuating pool. Um, and then that means you'll lose, you might not have the same price, but you'll have the same amount of tokens, um, or, you know, that you went in with lower value, um, on those pieces. Um, V3 pools allow, you know, the market, the, to swing either side. And so let's say you had a lot of token X paired with token Y, um, and then token Y went on fire, you know, and everyone started buying it up when you get into what's called an out of range position, it means you haven't put your spread out big enough for um, what you're looking for price range action wise. And you can find this in a lot of different uh, V3 protocols or whirlpools or pulsars or whatever name they may choose to have it where you're not putting in 50% of one token and 50% of the other. Um, but with that, it means that your, your token pool will transfer side to side so if one token sells out or buys out your other token side will go up or down to that um one of the big pieces with that too is you know um you know larger amounts of uh volume can provide you that uh that good percentage because you're earning trading fees and so um every time someone makes a trade trading platforms take a small 
tiny, tiny piece, and they pres- and they then distribute that based on your percentage of a pool, a uh, holding of a pool. And so it's really cool to see how much you can make in the long term on that. <laughs> um, some of the things, some of the pools that I really like, um, we have over uh, at Stella Swap. We have stable or base four pools. So those that are trying to trade BUSD for USDT or USDT for USDC, uh, USDC for FRAX, um, you're basically converting a dollar for a dollar for a dollar. Um, pools like that have a lower yield APY, um, but what you're doing is you're providing that incentivization um, for lower fees so more people... Um, you know, get more of their money's worth, which means if more people get more of their money's worth, that, that word goes around, more people trade on those pools and more trading fees, which then get to you based off the percentage of the pool that you own. Um, so it's one of the really good things about being part of LP pools um, is that trading fee piece. Um, especially if there's a lot of price action and, and something's moving up, it's really cool to see. Um, sh- quick shout out to TB. I had a wonderful night with you yesterday. Uh, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Tonight was, is just a, a quick bite. Um, and, uh, you know, road tripping, getting ready for the road <sighs> tomorrow. Um, and so have a, a, a lot going on tonight. I'm going to be calling this a, a short night tonight, um, but happy to have you up for the last two minutes of, of Taco Bites, your daily bite of DGen. Um, how are you tonight, good sir? Oh, did you drop? Ah. So uh, that is what we are doing for the last minute of Taco Bites. Uh, helping, waiting for someone to uh, reconnect. Um, and boom, he is back. How are you, sir? I'm good. Sorry, Taco. Uh, my my connection is terrible. Uh, I got roped. That is okay. Hey, that is the classic case. I miss the days when... I literally saw a rug on the side of the the sidewalk today, and I'm like, "That's that. Those are the only rugs people should worry about." Um, but it's very funny how we've used that term now in so many different ways. Yeah, I agree. That uh, that's 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 why uh, I really like English at the end of the day. Um, it's kind of up to us in a way. There's a lot of scope, right? Yep. Yeah, no, no. Um, and we're going to be getting on the road tomorrow. Um, it's going to be fun. We might have to do a really long space for that. So uh, if you're available, might have to have you jump by for, for a few hours and, and, and talk court. And, and, and we can see what we got going on in the Zenverse and everything else in between. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, uh, I'm hoping to draw some of the Zinians that are on this time of night to your show. Oh, yeah, In definitely, general. definitely. That's the plan. Yeah, um, we'll have a we'll have a good time. Um, talk current market. Talk pretty much anything and everything. Um, and so, um, but getting ready to. Uh, try to find a venue right now in Denver um, to try to hold another little Zen meetup. Um, and then next Zen meetup, I think for New York might be in April. So, yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, to be honest, it's pretty cool. Uh, it, it's, a, you know, that these meetups are happening and it's, uh, Really cool that you're involved as well, then, right? Because uh, mm. in my mind, you're like, um, in my mind, you're something like a Jack of Hearts character. Uh, that's the impression of, and uh, that's a really good thing. If you don't, I'm sure you do know Jack of Hearts, uh, but that's that's a really good Jack thing Hearts. for anyone who doesn't. We love Jack of Hearts. We love Jack of Hearts. Good. 
I do too. And uh, just you just for anyone who doesn't, character. I was like, oh, oh, I know who you're actually talking about. I thought you were talking about a cartoon character. Well, I, I was like, nope, okay, real, a, a real person I know. Yeah, I'll I'll explain <clears throat> I'll explain it. Uh, I'm only in crypto like a year, and uh, a few people have been uh, particularly good to me, and uh, just with just with the quality of the data that they gave me, and. Uh, Taco is one, and uh, Jack of Hearts is another. Jack of Hearts is great. Uh, do you know Crypto Krill? The British lady. Yes. I don't know her, but I I know her. I know I know she's a British lady. Let's say I don't oh, okay. know her. That yeah, much. you may have heard her voice. Whatever. She she's a she's a pretty good person to talk to as well. I'm Eskimo, by the way. TV, TV, yeah, yeah. May I ask, because uh, I, I won't be trying to find you, believe me. But uh, what part of Ireland are you in? Kerry. Oh, well, I'm not. I'm not there anymore. I'm, I'm there. in Canada. Oh, but, you're in Canada. Uh, Kerry, now. K- Kerry. I'm from Kerry, the southwest. I'm from Kerry. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't been to Kerry yet. Pretty good. Yeah. Few other places, but not there yet. Yeah. So, yeah, no, good travel. It, it, it's on the agenda. Whether that agenda happens or not this year, oh, there's. We should do NFT Ireland. Let's do it. Well, there was just NFT NFT London just happened. Um, <laughs> it's not the same thing. It's not. I know it's not. Um, but there was an Ir- uh, Ir- Irish uh, blockchain week. Uh, October of last year. So, where was it held? Where was it held? Do you know, was it Dublin? I will say yes. That sounds about right. Um, I'd sent tickets. Uh, I'd, I, someone sent me tickets for it to come. Um, and they were going to cover my, my entrance and, um, and place to stay. And, but I just had to get there. Um, and I was supposed to be in London at the time. So it was supposed to be a really easy jaunt over, but I ended up not being in London at that time. So uh, I ended up sending someone else, uh, sending those tickets to someone else to go. Nice. Uh, I'm happy to hear that there's uh, something blockchain, even if it's in Dublin. <laughs> mm, yeah. So, but no, Jack of Hearts, um, he's good folk. Um, me and him, uh, we don't butt heads, but we 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 hash and highlight the old old days and stuff like that, um, and it, and it's fun to do. So um, I gotta I gotta I gotta nudge him and say hi to, tonight before I head to bed. But it's uh, one don't ever one of the things that um, I I dislike people doing is almost disqualifying themselves from having an opinion or having individual thought or whatever by saying like, Oh, I've only been in it for a year. Um, just think, you know, you've been in it longer than, you know, a whole lot of other people. Um, and the information you've picked up is, you know, either helps you, hurts you. Um, but no matter what, it's learning experiences and, and, and everyone else coming after you would be, will, would take that with, with open ears, you know? Yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, you said the same thing to me the last time. Uh, I appreciate it. I, I just find it difficult to do because, uh, whatever, because I, I know I'm not, um, I, I don't even want to be talking on, on, on these things. I don't even want to be on Twitter. You know what I mean? Um, I, I'm only here because I kind of see a need for it. You know what I mean? Not to hear yeah. it right in this space, just in Twitter on gen, in general. Um, I needed to be here for research. And now I'm like, well, I'm researching anyway. I might as well be uh, chipping into the Zen community you know yeah no and it's one of those things where there there's there's a ton of good education out there 
Um, crypto Twitter is sort of where it's it's landed because it ran away from ran away from Clubhouse, um, and and it's sort of fun to to see, you know, um, fun to see how how it goes and uh, you know what it's like um, on the flip side of things too. So, yeah. It's uh, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's um, for 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 the people who like myself are curious and uh, um, naive, I guess enough uh, to uh, to to approach people like yourself and whoever. Um, it's amazing. It's amazing how good some people are. It really is. It really is. Uh, I would, you, you obviously know I've learned a lot, right? Relatively speaking, right? Uh, yeah. It, um, I can only do that because uh, pe- people like yourself, look, remember I was saying that there's this like group of people who are distinct in my mind have been amazing to me. TJ there is another one of them. Uh, it's all these people. There's There's a bunch of people. There's like every... Every week I meet somebody uh, really, really amazing, you know, and they help me. They're like, hey, this is something cool, you know, and it's, it really is cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It is, it's, you know, uh, and I, I what's, you know, you guys get, uh, the other day gave me the, the alpha. I, I'd seen Xmon, but I hadn't had a chance to, to check it, uh, your Zenmon. You know, so was able to sort of flutter through that a little bit today and 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 see that at work. And so liked what that was looking like. Um, So it's one of those things where there's so much information out there. Um, Anyone that calls themselves a master or an expert might be of an expert of a very of, you know, you could sort of as we sort of said, you know, talked. it was talked about the other day, you know, um, you know, once one sat, you know, one Satoshi equals one Bitcoin, you know, type of thing. But um, there's there's so many Satoshis out there of information that that that, uh, you know, it's hard to, you know, catch all of them or learn about everything. And, and you just sort of like got to keep your hand out there and just like keep letting things drop into it and, and see what you can learn. Um so, and that's, that's sort of how you, you gotta, you know, sort of be a little bit in it, um, and be in the middle of it all, all the time. So it, it's one of those things that, that's, that's good for it, you know, um, and being able to provide a platform for people to talk about things, um, learn and, um, you know, uh, because, you know, I've been in, I, I've hosted rooms where, you know, 200 plus people are in it um, and they're, they're hanging in, uh, on all the words that everyone's sort of saying, because, you know, some people will come up and ask a question and it, you know, if someone ha- they're like, that has the, the balls to ask a question, because sometimes a lot of people get almost uh, ashamed to ask what they might think is a noob question, but it's a basic question that everyone should ask, you know, and if one person asks it, 10 others are thinking it. And so it's really good for, for everyone to sort of think about that, you know? So, um, I still go to, go to spaces to talk and, 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 uh, and listen and learn, you know, because it's all we got going for us right now, you know? Yeah, um, well, I'm learning. That's for sure. It's um, I'm learning at a clip. You know what I mean? Uh, and then and anybody can. You know what I mean? There really is no barrier to um, not no barrier. Time, time, time. You need to hang around and figure out who's um, worth listening to, right? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, so yeah, no, it, it's uh, not enough time in the day, to say the least. 
you know. But um, yeah, it, it's it's good to find 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 a few projects to latch on to, especially if you can get into them early. Learn the mechanics inside and out, and um, you know, I I know uh, tonight and tomorrow I'm finishing up my uh, phantom ladder. Um, you know, for uh, quick mints, um, long mints, just to get in and to to place into LP pools uh, as well, um, to have enough ready to, you know, when when Phantom NFT uh, Zen NFTs launch. So that'll be a fun piece. But yeah, so TB. If not words of wisdom tonight, I believe in always learning um, myself, um, but also learning what other people have learned. Was there anything you learned today? Um, surely. Um, oh, gr greed, greed. What's it called? Grid trading. Grids. Grids. Grid. Hmm. I don't know the, the actual terminology exactly per Spot se. Spot grid trading. I'm not uh, honestly sure, but basically, they, 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 every time it moves, they yep. swap every single. So, so if if a trader pushes the market up or down, let's say. Um, I don't know what the right terminology is yet, you see. Uh, mm -hmm. But I think you know what I'm saying. Every single, uh, not integer, uh, what's, what's the... What's, so when the, what's price, the price action move goes up? Yeah, but for every point, for every yep. single piece that it moves. Like if, so let's say it goes in... Uh, it's a thousand dollars starting and moves ten dollars, right? It goes mm -hmm. up to a thousand, a thousand and ten. There's there's scope for let's say ten thousand different movements there, levels and mm -hmm. trades and trades. And every single time it moves at all, they make money. I mean, I don't understand it yet. It's apparently what centralized exchanges do, uh, but that's that's one thing I learned today. Yeah. Um... I use I use spot spot grid trading um, within KuCoin. Um, that's where I do m like my spot grid and uh, has bots that do it. Um, and so what it does is it does value based trading between a certain range. Um, uh, basically, buying low and selling high. Um, and so you sort of set that price piece. Um, you know. Um, I'm looking at someone's bot right now that's been running for roughly 36 hours and he's made 10,884% um, uh, APR so far on ACH token. So basically what happened here is, um, you know, he got into... Um, into uh he entered in at, at two cents you know um it was at two cents point five oh two four and he was doing he's doing and then his price range was between point one five and eleven cents he put a hundred trade orders in so there was be like fifty buys and fifty sells and then they sort of move around every time it moves the every time the price there's price action movement um, and so he's earning anywhere from 0.71% to 6.5% um, per uh, per grid. Um, he's done um, a total of 97 tra trades in the last 24 hours, but or that's his bot. And so, uh, yeah, you know, it, that's one of the really easy easy ways of doing it. Um. He might have been in the space I just came from. <laughs> ah, yeah. So he, uh, um, it the bot places buy orders when the price drops, and sell and and sells orders when the price climbs over the base currency at set intervals 
around the set price. Um, it's not, it's, it's, uh, you, you can use AI parameters, um, based off of like historic data. Um, or you can create customized parameters to trade within the way you want to. So if you want the price window to be, you know, 10, 10% below current price and 60% above, um, current price, then that's your grid right there. Um, you know, almost a, you could almost look at it as like a 70% window because 10% below and 60% above. Um, and so as it, as it fluctuates and moves, it, it does those buys and sells automatically. Um, and so it's one of those things that, that you can sit and hold on. Um, I've seen some people that are, you know, um, it's only limited by what you're willing to set the price, you know, the price top on as well. So, um, it's, it's, it's an interesting thing, but it's, it's, it's really good for the, the market and it's really, it's an easy way to sort of make money. I have a question. May I ask, uh, where can I get a name of a, um, some, uh, how would I research this further? Those platforms that do um, offer them. Let's see here. Let me, let me see if I can get, um, it can be tomorrow. I can ask this tomorrow. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to find real quick here. Um, let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, so here is. Um, I just sent you, um, KuCoin registration. Um, you don't have to sign up for it. Um, you can go look at it and it has both how to videos explaining it and breaking it down as well. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Yep. So, um, and that, that's sort of one of those good pieces from that as well. Yeah, it sounded very uh, interesting. I mean, it doesn't seem, uh, I mean, so it seems kind of foolproof in a way. Not foolproof, but once you get to yeah. understand it, right? Yeah, and, and what's, what's nice is, is a lot of the times you can, you can start with small amounts, you know, you could go in with like 40 bucks just so you can understand how that works and what that movement's like, you know, um, you know, if, if the price goes down, obviously, you know, that, that can hurt. But then when the price goes back up, um, you'll, you'll start seeing those cells that make you money, you know? Yeah. I, would, um, I, I just think, so you're not worried or anything. I would only be testing it. Um, ahead of when uh, you know what i mean i don't expect to uh make money off of testing anything you know what i mean yeah. it's like the last thing uh, on my mind right i yeah I, I i try and test it you know what i mean i'm i'm willing to when it, whatever I, I, a test is a test in my mind anyway don't worry yeah no and kucoin kucoin's good um it also has um there's also um uh, demo.kucoin if i remember right um once you're playing around in kucoin on desktop they have a they have a demo version of like future trading as well so you can sort of see what that looks like um and it gives you true pr price point values and everything like that is it, and then gives is it fake sorry, money I to play with is is it paper trading is that what that is no, it's it's not actual paper trading um, to a point. It's le but in a way, it's leverage trading. So you're putting real money up. Uh, not in the demo version, though. You can in demo, you can play around and you can learn from that. Um, so you that's can what see, I mean. That's yeah. what I meant. Sorry, is the demo version like the practice version where it's like yeah uh, paper yep. trading? 
not not the, actually never trading yeah, yeah 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 yep exactly so it it's it's a it's a it's a it's live price action you know you're it's just you know as soon as you if if I remember right, I think it gives a, a window that says as soon as you close this window down, your account, that account resets, basically. So you won't even have, like, it's one of those things so you can just go to see what fluctuations look like, clicking on different buttons, what different buttons do, you know? Um, lightning, lightning close will become one of your best friends sometimes. Um, reverse trade might be one of your other, other good friends. Um, but it, 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 you know, take profits and stop losses. Um, one of my, when, if I'm, if I'm doing a real piece of TA out there and I'm, and I'm doing a, I'm doing a long position, um, I don't really do shorts because then I, then I'm having, then I'm having to think pessimistically like the dump market's going to dump. I just like to then, you know, I don't want to profit off the market dumping um i have i done that yes do i do that yes but that is not my standard or my norm um just because um i like to i i, I don't want to jinx myself in a way um and look at the market going down I, I only like to think of it going up so um you know you can set targets to pull pull profits so you could set, you know, your entry price, and then you could set your target one, target two, and target three. Um, and so, like, you would take profit at when you know fifty percent of your investment out when you hit target one, thirty percent of of your investment when you hit target two, and then the last twenty percent when you hit target three. You know, that's that's left in there. So you're 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 pulling profit, and and you've made your money back. Um, so it's always a, a good little way, but it, uh, KuCoin demo gives you a lot of good ways of showing and learning all of that. Um, and then the trading bots, you know, uh, they, they don't have a demo account for those, if I remember right, but you can just sort of see that, how that's acting with like how other people are doing it as well. And then you can do it yourself and, and play around with it as well. I appreciate it. Um, that's amazing. I mean, that's you probably saved me like four hours or however long it would have taken me to figure out. Uh, even I probably, you know what I mean. It, you just saved me a lot, a lot of time. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad you asked. Thank you. Hey, no, not a problem. Um, that is what I'm here for. Um, and so, uh, yeah, no, it's uh, always good to to be of service. Um. TJ, welcome up to stage, sir. Hey, good afternoon, gentlemen, or good morning, or good evening. God knows these days, right? <laughs> oh, it is. It is almost bedtime here. Oh, lucky me! It's almost uh, my my early afternoon, early to mid. Yeah, you are in the future, though. So I am indeed. Uh, yeah, and the market's not bad, buddy. But no price prediction. <laughs> no crystal ball. Nice. Uh, yeah. Dang it. I know. Hey, just quickly jumping in. Uh, another thought. Uh, I haven't used it in many, many years, but three commas uh, is also another option, TB. And I don't know, Taco, if you've you leveraged or tried, played with them yet. Um, yeah, just kind of another, another I did, option. I, for, for leverage, I just use Mexi and KuCoin. Okay. Um, yep. Those are the, those are the two ones. I used to do Coinbase Pro, but they were very limiting, um, and sometimes. And uh, I like uh, I like sort of that that play uh, on stuff. GMX um, platform allows allows for leveraging as well in a DeFi platform, but I think it only allows like I, I think it's like ten x maximum. Mm -hmm. um, yep. I'm a little bit of a degen, and I, I I like Mech C because I can 200x. Nice, buddy. Nice. And and hey, a quick one as well. While we're on this convo, and TB for you, and I don't know, Taco, how you feel about this, but borrowing and lending in a uh, bull market is a fantastic strategy. I mean, 
hoping everything goes up, right? Uh, so yeah, GMX, they do borrowing and lending as well, do they, Tucker? Yep, yep, nice. They do. Nice. Um, one of the one of the pieces that uh, the two the the two main platforms that I use, um, so uh, is uh, Ovix. So zero V I X. Um, they're a polygon, uh, borrow lending platform. And so, um, I'll do, um, uh, it's, uh, D gen box trading. So, you know, I'll put in X amount we'll just call it a hundred dollars. I'll go borrow and I'll borrow $50 worth of the same token. Yep. And yep. I go and deposit that $50 in. And then I go borrow $25. Then I take that $25 and I deposit it and I go borrow $12.50. And I borrow it until I get down to, you know, one token basically. Um, and so uh, then uh, all I have to wait for is for the that's when you're sort of like hoping you're, you're in a way wait, hoping for the token to short in a way. Um, if, cause if the price of the token goes down a little bit, you buy one token at a reduced cost and then you can unwind all of that. And you've made all of, you've made a, a bunch of interest, uh, from, uh, that price action of, of borrowing and lending, you know? So it's yeah. one of those things where, incentivized using um savvy savvy defi which is getting ready to launch um if you let me go throw them up on the jumbotron um they're a new let's a new see here so yeah they're getting ready to launch they um tomorrow they are actually um let's see if i um to do to do to do to do mate venus was my yep, so, big one back in the day before their hack <laughs> yeah so they they just finished um so halborn is their security auditor um so what their what savvy does is one the two things that savvy does differently is they're non liquidating and your loan is self repaying so you 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 put in $100 you borrow 50 that $100 is in a yield bearing you know strategy interest bearing strategy that is yield farming that pays off your loan for you so instead of you having to wait for that interest it it gives it to you up front I like that. Yep. That's probably similar to Venus where I was able to provide a hundred dollars of collateral. I think, you know, you could borrow up to, I don't know what it was, maybe like 75% ish, but you could borrow back. So for example, I was giving a hundred in, I was borrowing, let's say it was $50. I could, could borrow off that hundred of collateral. I'd get $25 yep. in stables. And then I would stake, I could either stake the stables uh, or I could actually lend them out to someone else and I'd generate the interest on that. And then, yeah, go buy another token that, as I said, great in the bear market. Um, mm -hmm. So, sorry, yeah, great in a, um, great in the bull market, I should say, not the bear market. But then if that token goes up, I can then sell those tokens, pay back my loan, rinse, repeat. Um, but yeah, it yep. is very very degen, right? It's one of those things where it's, um, there, you know, um, it, it's been done a lot, except for, especially in like the NFT fi world. Um, I got to, uh, meet with, uh, snow Genesis today with the two founders from there. They're doing sort of like the collateral, the over collateralized loan aggregator. So they're basically pulling from all of the loan platforms. So you can sort of like go and snipe NFTs that are getting ready to liquidate. Um, you can provide that, that collateral to loan, you know, for that loan back and, and buy off that debt in a way. 
Nice. Um, nice mate. Thus, thus getting you know an NFT for half the cost, basically. Actually, and here's a question: You're the gentleman who would know. So, thinking about Ave, where we can stake for a year, I believe. I, I don't know the APYs or anything on that, but there's a a protocol that works, I believe, with Ave, where they'll pay you uh, your the full amount of the APY over you know a set period of time. Um, do you recall what that protocol could be? Possibly, have you heard anything like that? I stumbled um, across it and I've lost it and I'm kicking myself. I am I, I'm not I'm not um I am I am I am pulling a blank on that one. Yeah, it's it's an interesting concept, right? Whereby normally, you know, we lock up a hundred dollars for one year with an APY of whatever. Um, you know, the likes of Arve and whatnot. Uh, you know, they'll pay you out at the end of your term. Um, but this other protocol would tap, <clears throat> excuse me, tap into that and pay you out instantly. So you almost yeah. provide your, yeah, it's, I'm just trying to track it down. Yeah, no, um, but I, I just posted up Snow Genesis. Um, so they're basically a, a, a loan platform um, that, they're not a loan platform. They're not a money mover in any way. So there's no connecting your wallet or anything, or there's no, you can connect your wallet for your NFTs and the value there, but there's no smart contracts. Um, they're basically just a data aggregator. Um, and so, uh, that's one of the really cool things that sort of bring it all into one place. Um, and, uh, yeah. Nice, Matt. And is that a is that a fork of anything, or is that kind of a new new release platform? Um, so right now, uh, it's a new platform. Nice, nice. Um, they launched in January. Um, the 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 two gentlemen that started that, um, they've been they worked with a lot of different Avalanche protocol stuff, and they've worked with some other, um, their their traders, and so they wanted you know what were they looking for. What would they want? So basically, they took, um, uh, uh, all of the different NFT Fi platforms, and they they aggregate all of the data into one place, so you can see, um, what you know different market you know makers are doing of, um, you know what they're what NFTs they're putting up. You know, and whether or not they're looking for just collateralization to go make another play, um, and uh, yeah, no, so it's it's some cool stuff. But one of the things that they're working on as well is what when people stake these NFTs, um, they basically lose all of the the rights to it at the time. Um, but what if you could delegate out the IP? of an NFT, uh, you know, or delegate out the privileges of it to earn money to be able to pay off that loan. You know, if we right. look at it, um, like liquid stake, you know, most, right. As in, I, why can't I yeah. stake and then get a loan against my stake? For example. Not a, yeah. Yep. TJ, is that thing you're talking about flash stake? Uh, I don't, Ooh. Not sure. I'll have a look, mate. Um, it could be. So, um, it's it's almost like, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Um, like getting a mortgage for a home. Do you have, are, are you allowed to live in your home while you're, ha while you have a loan against it? Or can no one live in your home? You know, or you go buy other property, rental property that you're then earning money on that pays off those loans. So it's taking Web2 type loans, loan programs that, you know, we sort of lost a little bit in Web3 
but that's what their eventual goal is is to be right now they're just a basically um uh you know an aggregator of data so instead of having to hop site to site to site yep perfect i love that and tb yeah i had a quick look i think that is it mate um flash stake yep okay yeah, another interesting idea. Um, I think when I first looked at it, yeah. the TBL was way too low for my liking. I like to, you know, let some of these products yeah. settle in, obviously. Um, and yeah, they're still at $4 million, Not bad. But, I mean, with all these lending platforms, I really like to see things get up over at least, you know, at least, at least 25 Give them some time. Yeah. Savvy, so Savvy DeFi is getting ready to launch their their uh, liquidity generating event, um, as well as set the the fair market price, fair market launch for their token price. Um, so that'll be something cool to see. Um, but if you hop, if you hop over to them, um, and and tell them I sent you, you should be able to get a test net. Um, access nft to use it on to try it out on fuji which is avalanche's test net beautiful i will do that mate absolutely yeah something for the weekend and, and <laughs> yeah and well what i like about like all right so it's it's one of the, like where where what roman roman's running line you know is that he's a recovering banker you know And so it's one of those things to where people use their debt to, you know, generate more wealth that then would pay off their debt, which they could then go create more debt to generate more wealth. And, uh, and it pays, it would pay itself off. And so it, it's really cool to see that coming forward in, in DeFi, you know? Um, but, um, one of the big things that I really like about it, uh, one of the things I really like about it is that uh, it's non-liquidating. So that's one thing you don't have to worry about. Oh, poor Satoshi. So, they're only holding Bitcoin. <laughs> oh, he's great. He's good. Only, yeah. Hey, uh, I I uh, I uh, do like those those bitcoins. So, um, super big money hashing companies. Yeah, so um, it's one of those things where uh, Bitcoin ha- Bitcoin's day is not over, um, but Bitcoin paved the way for for other coins to have have it have a say as well. In my opinion. Well, we need the toys, right? Uh, we need all the financial toys and tools. Um, you know, we yes, can't, we, we do. can't live without them. Yep. I agree with you 100% on that. Um, well, can, can I, can I uh, say something? Taco, do you remember last night I was struggling to explain what I was seeing? Uh it, it, I thought about it today. It's kind of like, um, do you know the way the space station? If you were if you imagine you're on the space station looking out, not that I've ever been there, right? I'm just saying this is why I couldn't explain it because it was so fucking weird. I can see like something coming in from the darkness. You know what I mean? And there's only like one thing like protruding from it, at, or more than one. But do you know what I'm saying? Yep. It, I, yeah, I do. Uh, I, see, I see something that big coming. Like, that's what I see. I don't know what it is, but I see that. I, uh, the, one of the things where I've... I've uh, one of the things that I've sort of said almost at the same, in the same way, um, but a uh, behemoth under the water. You don't really know what it is, but you can see see the shadow of it rising in a way. Yeah, 
it's I couldn't even I couldn't even explain the way I see it uh, when when you asked. Uh, yeah. But I was th- I, I I was thinking about it today, and I was like, I better be able to explain what I s- how I see it. Um, so I just wanted to say it as soon as I was back here. Yeah. Good. Yeah. No. And and that's that that critical. One of the pieces is just you know sometimes learning you know the new verbiage to ba- to to think outside of the way we've we've been thinking on things so far, but when you sort of feel that and then you get and not only do you see it coming um but you get to participate in it that's one of those things that sets you as sets you in front of everyone else so just this you know. I know I said this last time and I said it tonight. Just think you're a year ahead of everyone else that's just learning about it today. But yeah, no, that's there there's there's a lot of toys out there. There's a lot of ways um to to make money and make moves. Um you know, uh I I, I get to benefit from traveling and meeting all of these projects, you know, and, and seeing these things happen. So it's a, uh, it's an interesting time to be in a lucky time to be in, especially with the people you get to meet along the way. So, yeah, but uh, no, uh, we're going to, we're going to wrap tonight up um, just because I got to be, I got to be on the road. I got to be sharp as a, pencil tomorrow sometime i'm probably actually going to take a, a afternoon siesta um to drive halfway across the country um to get to denver um for all of the events in denver um that are going on around east denver um so tj uh any last thoughts of the night um not really um never stop learning right because life never stops teaching there you go. All right. Never stop learning to, you know, world always is teaching. Um, TB, final thoughts, words of wisdom. Uh, there's enough Satoshis for all of us. Haha, <laughs> there are enough Satoshis for all of us. Yep. I like that one. Um, Kid Alpha, I also see that you joined us tonight. Uh, we're just uh, follow ending this night up. Um, I hope that you are doing well. Um, and uh, you know, I see the phoenix is rising. So um, we'll we'll, uh, we'll talk about that over the next couple of days too. Satoshi, as always, I hope that you have a wonderful night. TJ and TB, thank you so much for joining us on Taco Bites, your daily bite of DGen episode number 187. Can't believe I've been doing this for 187 episodes. Um, and as we end every episode uh, with words of wisdom from around the room, my words of wisdom are always the same. A closed mouth cannot be fed and you cannot feed a closed mouth. And how we end every night um, with the greatest joke on the face of the planet and I'm going to need someone's help with this. Uh, this is always done out of love. Knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs>